before we look to tomorrow's game, uh, Lawrence, just how pleasing was that win at the weekend? Yeah, it was um, very pleasing. Um, obviously, um, we had a dis disappointing result a couple of weeks ago at woke, Woking on the Tuesday night, and um, I feel like we bounced back really well. So, yeah, obviously, we're a big game, um, big crowd. Uh, second, first, fourth, it's always going to be a big game, and we came out on top and with the three points, but now we're looking to towards tomorrow night, and hopefully, we can get another three points on the board. Listening to the commentary of the second goal, the atmosphere just sounded superb in the stadium. What was it like uh, actually on the pitch? Could you get a real sense for that? Yeah, it's brilliant. Obviously, the, the crowd, of, um, the fans, the backing is um, a lot this a lot a lot this season. Um, as you can see, I think there were five, five and a half thousand there on Saturday, uh, with obviously not many away supporters as well. So, yeah, it's, it's a big bonus for us as players um, on the pitch to hear to hear the atmosphere. Um, they've been really good and um, hopefully it can continue. Eight unbeaten at home. When everybody sets out for a record like that, what has it taken to achieve it, do you think? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a big thing. Um, the gaffer keeps going on about the own record, um, making this place a fortress um, and a hard place to come. And definitely, if you, if you want to be champions of this league, um, that, that that's a big factor. And um, obviously, we're eight unbeaten now here and and hopefully it can continue and and hopefully it can, can continue tomorrow night. How much does it help you guys at the other end of the pitch when you've got someone like Rowan Shimanga knocking in 15 goals in 22 appearances between them? Yeah, he's been brilliant, obviously, since Cabs has come in. Um, he's, he's, he hasn't stopped scoring. Um, really pleased for him because he works really hard on the training pitch. And same with Rowan as well. Um, as you can see, these last three or four games, the, the partnerships have um, have been really good and they're both chipping in with the goals so yeah it helps us as defenders um, when, when the goals are going in but yeah um, it's really positive signs at the minute. I wanted to ask you about the gaffer because you know you've been at this club for, for some time you know what it's about don't you uh, since James Rowe has come in this team has, has now turned back into a team that's a promotion concept hasn't it you know to, to get back into the football league what has he done that has enabled that process to happen, do you think? Um, both. Um, the gaffer's been brilliant, first and foremost. He's, he's come in, he's, um, he's not just on the pitch, it's off the pitch as well. Um, discipline, um, trying to bring the fans back together and the community off the pitch. And on the pitch, I think you, I think you can see the intensity of the players, um, the way we play, we, we want to press, we want to get the ball down when we can. And, and be an attack, attacking mind inside and, and making it enjoyable for, for the fans to watch. So, yeah, big credit to the gaffer since he's come in because the, the record has been has been really, really good and we've had a lot of change over in players. So, we've got a nice settled squad now and, and hopefully we can continue and, and keep pushing up the league. Is it an exciting time to be part of this football club then? Because it, it is a team that has, you know, it's only a few years ago they're in the League One playoffs. It's got the hallmarks, hasn't it, of a, of a football league club that could actually do something once it gets back into the football league. So, do you sort of feel that, that buzz at the moment? Yeah, the buzz. Um, you go, you just go around to around the town, and you can feel that buzz now. Um, it feels like the community have come back together, the fans, um, the staff. Even like when when you're walking around the stadium, there's a, there's a lot of there's a there's a buzz around the place, um, and that's obviously a credit to to the to the to the gaffer. Um, and obviously, us as players to, to bring that back 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 around. Yeah, it's, it's been mentally, it's been really tough the, the last few years. But now, as a player, I can see see the club back on the up, and and hopefully we can get back in the football league and, and put smiles back on the faces. I guess the next big challenge is to chase down that one team that's left in front of you in the table now. Yeah, exactly. Um, the main thing is for us is is looking towards the next game, and and the next game's tomorrow night against Eastleigh at home. So. We're looking forward to that one and, and hopefully we can get another three points towards where we want to be and, and that's right at the top of the league. What do you know about Eastley? Obviously you're going to come up against a former teammate aren't you, in Tom Whelan. Yeah, they've obviously they've started OK. Um, they've, they had a good result of the weekend which, which were big for them. Um, I'm sure we'll get on the training pitch this morning. Uh, the gaffer will, will go through what, what they're good at and, and, and where the weaknesses are. So we'll look at that this morning and, and hopefully we can go into the game Knowing, knowing what what our game plan is, and, and come out with the with the three points. And what is the key to sort of just staying focused now, and you know treating each game as it comes, and not allowing yourself to start thinking about 
well, you know, what could be if we if we win this, and what can happen if we get promoted. Exactly, it's it's, it's a mentally side that it's um, you've got to keep mentally focused. Um, Obviously, we're not where where we want to be. We want to be right at the top. So yeah, we're still we're still not not where we are where where we want to be. We've had a good start to the season, in terms of points per game. Um, but yeah, it's it's time to to knuckle down. We've got two big games coming up before the FA Cup, and and our ma our main focus is to try and get six points from them two games and and see where we are going into the FA Cup, and um, and then it's um, and then it obviously it comes in stages. So yeah, it's. It's obviously my mindset. Just, just keep going. Um, concentrate on ourselves. Don't worry about other people, and and hopefully we we end up where we want to be.